30.85. That is the magic number. Keep your eyes on the clock. Don't worry about the opposition. They are largely decorative. Well, we've got a split there. Take no notice of that. Here's Bolt. The head is rocking just a little bit. If there's any wind, they'll feel it now. This is when the legs will start to tire. The Usain Bolt is running into unknown territory. He's picking up the cadence. Keep an eye on the clock. 30.85. He's missed it. It's an outstanding run. It's 30.97. Take into account the altitude at which Michael Johnson ran the time. And this is probably a better run. But, and it doesn't happen very often, we're saying here in 2010, Usain Bolt has failed in his bid to break a world record. <laughs> he's mortal, he's human. I bet you Michael Johnson's watching this and having a little chuckle to himself. There's one still in there. He's got the 400 world record, of course, Bolt, but Johnson's probably saying, hey, Sonny, this is my territory. Anything beyond 200, 250 is my territory. I must admit that uh, Bolt started working hard about 60 or 70 out. You mentioned it in your commentary, Martin. He started looking like he started digging in harder and pumping hard with the arms about 60 or 70 out. I just wonder whether he wasn't a little bit too relaxed going through 200. I don't believe those split times. They said 907 for 100. Complete rubbish. Forget that. 1983. I doubt it for his 200 meter split. If it's true, then that was his undoing because it's too quick and uh, he would have been suffering through the last 100. But I think that he just didn't get the effort right. And it's very hard with a new distance in a competitive situation to gauge the spread of your effort through the three sections. Yes, I mean, I'm inclined to be a bit philosophical, really. I think that uh, Johnson broke that record and Johnson one was a brilliant athlete. Let's not forget it. Let's make, not get too carried away about your same bolt here. But Johnson, the supreme athlete, did it at four and a half thousand foot of altitude on a far better night than this. So Bolt had everything against him and he still came within a little more than a tenth of a second. It's still a staggering run, but inevitably you're saying, Bolt, you're going to go away disappointed because he hasn't broken it. Well, it's been an impressive night. The women's 10,000 metres kicked off proceedings 31.04. Mezlet Melkamu winning uh, the 25-lap race there. The world best in the men's 3,000 metres. 7.31 by Yusuf Biwat. He beat John Kemboy and Bernard Lagat into third place. A couple of surprises. Blanka Vlasic losing. She was only third in the high jump. The Olympic gold and silver medalist to Hurugu and Sherika Williams losing in the 400 metres. But there were bankers tonight. Darren Robles winning in 13.12 in pouring rain. shelly Ann Fraser in the 100, 11.04. And Asafa Powell, 9. 983 into a headwind and then as you just saw Usain Bolt 30.97 a meeting record in this 300 meters of course uh, no tailwind no headwind in the 300 meters but I suspect the conditions uh, which we know are awful will have affected that time he was only what 12 100 of a second off uh, Michael Johnson's world record it'll come it'll come indeed I wouldn't be surprised if Bolt requests a 300 somewhere over the next 10 or 12 weeks before this 2010 season is done. It would be a, a nice little sequence, as Martin pointed out, 100, 200, oh, we'll chuck in the 300, and uh, perhaps the 400 in years to come. We're gonna leave you very shortly from this uh, absolutely drenched Vitkovice Stadium here in Ostrava. It's been a, a great evening. I hope you've enjoyed the last couple of hours of commentary here from myself, Tim Hutchings, and Martin Gillam on Eurosport. Plenty more to come through this summer, of course, uh, climaxing, I suppose, with those European championships in Barcelona. But uh, Usain Bolt misses a world record. I can imagine the headlines tomorrow. He is mortal after all, even though he's all smiles. Delightful to see. His season.